This week in Banned Book Story Hour, we have a double feature. We're featuring two stories about families that have same gender parents. One, a true story from the Central Park Zoo, and Tango Makes Three, and the other, Heather Has Two Mommies. We'll start with, and Tango Makes Three. In the middle of New York City, there is a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride on and in the summer, an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Best of all, it has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. but children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising little noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins and the boy penguins start noticing the girl penguins. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other, they walked together, they sang to each other, and they swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins, and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsci, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, huh, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home, and they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something that they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch and there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no egg to keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching and he brought it to the nest. It was only a rock, but Silo sat on it carefully and sat and sat. And when Silo got sleepy, he slept And when Silo was done sitting, he swam and Roy sat. And day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock. But nothing happened. Then Mr. Gramsci got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for. 
and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg right to the center of their nest, and every day they turned it so each side would stay warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went for food, and other days it was Silo's turn to take care of the egg. They sat in the morning and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month and they sat all of the days in between. Until one day, they heard a sound coming from inside the egg. Peep, 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 it said. And Roy and Silo called back, squawk, squawk, squawk answered the egg, and suddenly a teeny tiny hole appeared inside the eggshell. And then, and then, crack, out came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak, and Roy and Silo were now fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Gramsci decided, because it takes two to tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Soon Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest, and Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango! They cheered. At night, the three penguins returned to their nest. There they snuggled together, and like all the other penguins in the penguin house, and all the other animals in the zoo, and all the other families in the big city all around them, the three of them went to sleep. The end. And Tango makes three. And now we have Heather has two mommies. Heather has two mommies is written by Leslie Newman and illustrated by Laura Cornell. Heather lives in a little house with a big apple tree in the front yard and lots of tall grass in the backyard. Heather's favorite number is two. She has two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears, two hands, and two feet. Heather has two pets, a ginger colored cat named Ginger Snap and a big black dog called Midnight. Heather also has two mommies, Mommy Jane and Mama Kate. Mama Kate is a doctor. She has two stethoscopes so she and Heather can listen to each other's hearts. Mama Jane is a carpenter. She has two hammers so she and Heather can build things together.
Heather and her mommies have lots of fun together. On sunny days, they go to the park. On rainy days, they stay inside and bake cookies. Heather likes to eat two ginger snaps and drink a big glass of milk. One day, Mama Kate and Mama Jane tell Heather that they have a surprise for her. You're going to start school next week, Mama Kate said. There'll be lots of other kids to play with and teacher named Miss Molly, adds Mama Jane. Can Midnight and Ginger Snap come too, asked Heather. No, they have to stay home, Mama Jane says. But you can bring two special things with you, says Mama Kate. Heather chooses her favorite blue blanket and to rest with at nap time and her favorite red cup to drink out of at snack time. Soon the big day arrives and Mama Kate and Mama Jane take Heather to her new school. There are so many things to play with. Heather sees building blocks, dress up clothes, crayons, and paint. Heather also sees a big round table for snack time and a quiet cozy corner for nap time. While Mama Jane and Mama Kate talk to Miss Molly, Heather puts two puzzles together all by herself. Soon it is time for Mama Jane and Mama Kate to leave. They kiss Heather goodbye, and Heather cries, but only a little. Heather has lots of fun at her new school. She builds a tower out of building blocks, and dresses up like a firefighter. She drinks apple juice out of her favorite red cup at snack time and rests in a quiet corner with her favorite blue blanket at nap time. After nap time, all the children sit in a circle while Miss Molly reads them a story about a boy whose father is a veterinarian. Who knows what a veterinarian is, asked Miss Molly. Ooh, I do. My mommy is a veterinarian, Juan says. A veterinarian is an animal doctor. My daddy is a people doctor, shouts David. My mommy is a people doctor too, Heather shouts even louder. What does your daddy do, David asks Heather. I don't have a daddy, Heather says. She looks around the circle and wonders, am I the only one who doesn't have a daddy? I have an idea, said Miss Molly. Let's all draw pictures of our families. Juan draws his mommy and daddy and his big brother, Carlos. Miriam draws her mommy and her sister, Rachel, playing in the park. Stacy draws her daddy and her papa, reading her stories. Joshua hangs up the picture that he drew of his mommy and stepfather dropping him off at his daddy's house. Emily takes up, tapes up the picture that she drew of her grandma and their two puppies, Emmett and Charlie. David straightens out the picture he drew of the day his mommy and daddy brought his new sister, Veronica, home. Miss Molly looks at all the pictures. It doesn't matter how many mommies or how many daddies your family has, Miss Molly says. It doesn't even matter if your family has sisters or brothers or cousins or grandmas or grandpas or uncles or aunts. Each family is special. The most important thing about a family is that all the people in it love each other.
Soon Heather's first day of school is over. And when Mama Kate and Mama Jane arrive to pick her up, Heather shows them all of the pictures. Oh, is that me? Mama Kate asks, pointing to Heather's picture. Oh, and is that me? Mama Jane asks, pointing to. This is the mommy I love the best, Heather says, pointing to her picture. And this is the mommy I love the best too, Heather says, pointing again. Mama Jane and Mama Kate both laugh as Heather gives each of them two kisses. And then she takes their hands and they all head home. The end. Heather has two mommies by Leslie Newman. We hope you enjoyed this week's Band Book Story Hour. Please make sure to join us for the 5.30 Zoom group on Wednesday afternoon, and we'll see you next week. Bye.